Oh, man. Hey, folks. That's right, it's me. Oh. Mask up, mask down. Oh my goodness. I don't know about anywhere else in the world, but uh, here in Vermont, it is cold. Cold, folks. What are you doing to protect yourself? This week's myths, tips, and safety tips. You're watching Ghost 802. Archery Shack for all your hunting and archery needs. White tail greens, food plots year round, family and veteran owned. Scent Blaster, yet more scent out, the world's best wicking system for hunter. Nature's Voice Game Calls, the talk of the woods. See your sight and get more bonus rings. Veteran Innovative Products. Veteran owned and made in America. So this week's on uh, Fox's Myths, Tips, and Safety Tips. Yes, yeah, saw how I was. I got the old Northern Toque on here. I got a face cover. And then we are all familiar with these things. Yeah, it's not an N95, but it's got fancy copper stuff. Or I've got this one that scares old people and children. Yay! What are you doing to stay warm, folks? Layers. Layers is where it's at. You need a good base layer. Uh, I'm not going to endorse any company or whatnot, but there's uh, many out there. You can go into your, your local hunting outdoor store. You can... Uh, you can check the big interweb thing and uh, go from there. Um, I suggest always shopping local first. See what you can get there. Good base layer, legs, torso. Then you got your socks, good merino wool or something that breathes and keeps your feet warm without sweating. Glovies. I got this here. Uh, again, we're not doing any endorsements or anything. But I'll tell you, these Carhartt gloves are wicked warm. And look at this. They even got the little snottest wipus thing for you. So you don't get the red nose at the end of the day. Thoughtful folks are at Carhartt. But what are you doing? So you've layered up. Be ready to head outside. You start to sweat in the vehicle. I always wait to put my outside layers on till I'm ready to go outside. Keep just your base layers on and your shirt inside the vehicle. Other than that, you are going to start to work up a little bit of a sweat. Layer yourself up. Cover any parts up that are going to be hit by the cold air. If it starts to tingle and feel numb, you need to cover it or get out of the cold. Most importantly... Everybody's got these things nowadays. Let somebody know where you're going. Send them a text. Let them know when you're about to be back. You see them sitting in a vehicle. Behind me, I got a blanket. I got insulated coveralls. I got a little ready kit of uh, protein bars and whatnot that aren't going to go bad, aren't going to freeze. Something that you can at least keep a little food in you if you slide off the road or something bad happens. So there you have it, folks. This week's myths, tips, and safety tips. Before you go out ice fishing, before you go out yacht hunting, before you go out and just enjoying cross-country skiing or cross-country skiing because then you can hunt rabbits and coyote. I was thinking, get a kid out, make sure they're dressed properly. Nothing could be worse than detrimental to them getting outside ever again is having a bad experience. Keep yourselves warm. Fight the good fight. We're on a downward slide of these things in COVID. Don't let your guard down. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to help out our sponsors. 
because they're helping you and they help us and they need to help. Let's face it, folks. It's been a rough year. 2021, we're headed down the road and we're going to get it done. Thank you. Continue to watch. We'll see you next time on Ghost 802.